Hi, I'm Trish, and this is Beanbag Hagwag. Uh, today I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing a, a tag video that was created by Starlight the Wild Witch. She used to be Star, Starlight Spell Singer here on YouTube, and she's just lovely, and her channel is lovely. And of course, I'll put um, the original video for this tag in the description box and I hope you'll check it out and I hope you'll take part in this if you are a content creator. So it's called hashtag my magical YouTube journey and it's all about um, creating videos and um, and having a channel and what that entails. Um, there's 25 questions, so it's kind of a long tag, but I don't think <laughs> I don't think the answers are um, going to be too long and drawn out, so it won't um, be too long. So um, I was tagged with several other content creators, and um, I think I've only seen two people do this tag so far, other than Starlight. So, um, yeah, I hope people will jump on board with this. It's kind of a fun tag. So the first question is, what is your channel name and the significance behind it? My channel name is Beanbag Hagwag. It's not a witchy name. I don't have a witchy or a magical name. The gods know me by my birth name. Um, but Beanbag Hagwag is a name I grew up with. My brother, my older brother, named me Beanbag Hagwag. My little sister was B.B. Lee. And that has just kind of stuck with us throughout our life. So, yeah, I've been called Beanbag Hagwag for probably, I don't know, much of my 59 years. Um, number two, what type of content do you create on your channel? For example, vlogs, educational, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so I mainly do, um, I guess, vlogs. I don't do educational videos, or rarely do I do um, like a 101 video or a how to video. Um, magic is just part of my everyday life. Being a witch is like part of my everyday life. So that is what my videos are about, my magical life. All of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. Um, what inspired you to start your channel? I was inspired by Ravenflower. Ravenflower is somebody I've known for quite some time. She's a dear friend and I love her so much. Um, she kind of started her channel around the same time as I did, a little before I did, and she was very encouraging um, to many of us who were part of her little circle. So um, that is what inspired me. I was inspired by her. How long have you been on YouTube as a content creator? I've been creating content on YouTube since 2017. Um... Number five, what are your hobbies outside of your channel? Um, yeah, so my channel, Making Videos, is a big hobby for me. I'm an artist. I'm a gardener. I love to cook. I love to spend time with my friends. I love to entertain. Um, yeah, my life is pretty full. I have a lot of hobbies. Um Six, is there a new style of content that you want to try? No, at this point, there really isn't. This is what's comfortable for me. This is what's working for me. Um, number seven, do you plan out your content? Um, I kind of do. Now, for a video like this, not so much. But for like one of my monthly vlogs, I do plan it out. I I I love to write. I'm a writer, so I kind of script it out first, um, so I know what I'm going to say, and I add that to the video that I take all month long and um, just put it together. 
Number eight, what are your tools of the trade? So I have a camera. I have a digital camera. I don't use it. Um, my phone has a great camera and I'm using my laptop for this. Um, it's just easier. I always have my phone on me so I can take video whenever I feel the need to do that. Um, I do use um, uh, in editing. Um, I do edit my videos, so I use PowerDirector for that. And um, the music in my videos comes from Epidemic Sound. Those two things are the only things that I spend money on for my um, content, and it's not expensive. Um, I don't have a special microphone. I don't have special lighting. Um, this is what you get. So yeah, I don't, I don't have, um, a lot of tools for my video making. Um, as a content creator, number nine, as a content creator, do you experience burnout? If so, what does that look like and how do you recover from it? Um, I don't experience burnout from my channel. I experience burnout from my day job. Um, this is one of my hobbies. So, um, yeah, I, I guess I just, I haven't gotten burnt out on it yet, but my channel's small, you know, so I don't, um, I don't feel pressured to make content and I, um, yeah, it's more of a relaxing thing for me. I love editing and, uh, I love writing. So yeah, no burnout here. Um, number 10, which video are you the most proud of and why? Um, I don't necessarily think I'm proud of the videos, but, um, they're videos that were very meaningful for me. And, um, and those would be, um, Yule and my dedication to Holda. That was a really special time for me. And, um, a very meaningful video to make. Um, the hashtag, what has witchcraft done for me? That was a very special video for me. Um, and um, magical messages from, from Roberta's room. I guess those three videos are the ones that mean the most to me. Um, they recorded a uh, really special time in my life. And yeah, so I guess, I guess it's those three that, um, are, are special to me. Number 11, who inspires you within the magical pagan YouTube community? Um, there are several and I, I'm not naming everybody, and this list is in no particular order, but these are some of my favorite videos. Video, these are these are some of my favorite content creators. These are the ones that when I see that they have a video, I can hardly wait to watch it. Um, I make sure I never miss them. So Abby the Witch, Abby is pretty new here on YouTube and she has just dug right in and is a great part of the YouTube community. Um, Astaria Sen, she's a little fairy and I just love watching her. I love um, how she shares parts of her life and um the Green Witch, which is a really big channel. Um, I just find her really relaxing and um, her her videos are really aesthetically pleasing. She, I, you know, I'm sure it's her, her job. So she puts a lot into it and you can tell, but her videos share a lot of information. Um, Jasmine Ambrosia. Uh, Jasmine Ambrosia is one of the bravest, strongest content creators I can think of. She's not afraid to say what she feels. Um, some would call her um, 
controversial maybe, but I just, I just call her brave. I think she's a great part of the community. Um, Jessica and the moon, uh, who used to be Jessica, the story, Witch, she brings me so much comfort. I love her channel. She is actually who inspired me to start, um, journaling, uh, and her channel is lovely. Megan Black, Round the Cauldron, has a lovely channel. And um, and Candy Soul and Soil. I, I just wish I lived closer to her. I think we would be such good friends. She is... She, she thinks the way I do about all of my life being the magical thing. It's not just when I'm at my altar. She, um, she shares parts of her daily life and shares how magical it is. She does a lot of, um, she does some tarot. She does some gardening. She does some poetry and, um, you know, she kind of just puts all that together and makes a really great video. Um, she's just so down to earth and I love her. I love her. I love all of these on this list and so many more. Um, are there any channels that you would recommend? And I will just say this list is a list of the channels I would recommend. It's a list of the channels that inspire me and a list of the people I enjoy. Um, it's nice to go into their world sometimes. Number 13. Do you believe there are misconceptions about being a magical pagan YouTuber? Um, I suppose... You know, some people say how hard it is and, you know, it is, it can be hard. Um, you can put a lot of time and effort into it, but you can also just do a video like this where I'm not really editing. I might take out a couple of ums or um, times when I'm looking at a question. Uh, I think one misconception is that you have to have a thick skin. Um, I don't think you necessarily do. I think everybody is pretty respectful. Yeah, that's one of the misconceptions, I guess, is that by putting yourself out there, you're opening yourself up to criticism and whatnot. And really, I've never experienced any of that. I think everybody's been just wonderful. Um, and that's my favorite part of video making is the comment section. I love communicating with people through the comment section. Nobody has ever left me a nasty comment. Um, number 14, what do you like and dislike about being on YouTube? Um, there's nothing I really dislike about it or I wouldn't do it. So I guess I like creating the videos. Um, I like being part of the YouTube community. I think we got a good thing going on. Um, number 15, what are some of the challenges and struggles you face creating on this platform and how do you overcome them? I guess the only struggle or challenge I have is time. Finding the time to um, put my videos together and to edit them and to add music. Um, that's the only struggle or challenge I have. I would love to do it all day long, but I can't. And sometimes it's hard. I, you know, I like to do two videos a month if I can. And, and that can be tough um, when you have, you know, a day job and a family. What is your opinion um, on monetization, paywalls, or other exclusive content like Patreon and membership services. I think monetization is great. I think if you can make money off of what you're doing, why the hell not? I don't 
um, think there's anything wrong with Patreon or um, membership services, whatever. Uh, but I'll tell you right now, I will never pay for content. Um, I've done that a few times in the past, and uh, it's not worth it. I I will never pay to watch somebody. Um, people share the same thing I can get on a channel for free. I just, nobody um, has something to say that I feel I need to pay for. Um, I, I know it's only usually like a dollar, five dollars, whatever per month. Um, and you could do more. I'm not going to pay to watch somebody share their life. I'm not going to pay to watch somebody talk about witchcraft. I can get that for free right here. Um, number 17, do you have any boundaries on this platform? Why or why not? What, one boundary I have is to never um, call out somebody directly on YouTube. Uh, if I disagree with somebody, you know, I could talk about that, but I won't... I, I won't throw somebody under the bus, whether I like them or not. Um, I don't want views from, from drama. So, yeah, I guess that is a boundary for me. Do you have any current goals for your channel? Um, I'm trying to get a more um, consistent uploading schedule. Um, like, I've always just made videos willy-nilly. I, you know, might do one a month. I might do four a month. I might do none for one month. My goal is to make two videos a month, um, possibly one like this and a vlog. And, you know, that's asking a lot of myself because it does take time. But... I, uh, yeah, that is my goal. Um, what are some of the mistakes you've made and how did you fix them? Um, editing. I, I guess any mistake I make, I can edit it out before I upload. Um, number 20, what are some of the ways your channel has grown since your first video? My channel has grown, I guess. Um, once you find your groove, you don't have to um, follow somebody else's lead so much. You can just do your own thing. Um, I'm more confident about it. And and um, I guess I uh, my channel has changed in the fact that I share um, my whole life. Because my whole life is witchy. Um, can you see all the ums that I'm going to have to take out of this if I edit? Uh, let's see. Number 21. Have you ever wanted to quit making videos? Why or why not? Yeah, I guess I've never really thought about stopping. I guess I've never really thought about it at all. Um... Number 22, what do you wish you knew before starting your YouTube channel journey? Uh, how rewarding it really is. Um, it's therapeutic for me. Um, being able to talk and get input from other people. Um, I was very afraid when I started making YouTube videos because I thought, you know, I'd be criticized for just about everything. Only one person has really ever criticized me and that wasn't on my channel per se. Um, that was outside of my channel and she is irrelevant. So yeah, whatever. Um, 23. Do you post on any other platforms? If so, what are they? 
I, you know, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and uh, that's all. I don't do TikTok. Um, I just don't have time for that. And yeah, I guess just the three, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook are the only places I post. Number 24, do you have any advice for those wishing to create a channel? Um, just go for it, I guess. If you want to do it, do it. You will get views and, um, you know, everybody's got something to share. And it was one of the best things I ever started doing. I've met so many wonderful people. In fact, tomorrow the Shadow Moon Witch is coming to visit me and I can hardly wait to see her. I haven't seen her in a while. So yeah, I, I've met so many wonderful people through my channel and I feel like part of the community. Number 25, the last one. Who will you tag in this video? Who would I tag? I guess I, I just, I guess I'd tag everybody. I don't think you need to be tagged in order to do a tag video. So do it. It's, um, it's kind of fun. So yeah, I guess I just tag all of you. That's it. That's the 25 questions. And how long did that take? I don't know, about 20 minutes, maybe? Yikes. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the day. I hope you all enjoy watching the tag videos. And I hope you will partake in the fun. Strive to be happy. <laughs>